just so wet, I'm just gonna throw on some alcohol or food coloring sprays on it. Just to test. Ooh, too empty. Some orange. Try it again. I have to refill. Refill. It's not dry yet, so I was kind of playing with it wet for some reason. Just kind of going with that, with the gesso wet. So this is uh, there. Now I'm going to dry it with that, see how that looks. So I dried it. Gesso was wet, and there's no really reason. I just kind of played with it like that, and then I decided to go over it. So I got some paint. Um, I'm kind of, I want to paint this one, so just so I added some food coloring, but just to play here in the background. And let's see what we're going to do here. Just, oh, there goes my paintbrush falling apart. I'm actually going to change paintbrushes. This one's pretty much, it's got to get re-glued. It's got to get glued. So I'm going to... Grab my red. I'm just going to play with it. And paint my index card without no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going with it. Just going with it. So this is just a fun play with it, and painting it. I'm treating it as a canvas, really, because I just gessoed it, and now I'm going as a um, I don't know the name I'm thinking of, but anyways, treating it as a canvas and just kind of going with it. Making the background right now and wiping my brush. I'm not even cleaning in between, I'm just wiping it. And just creating a really cool background. I'm gonna see how this really holds up to to this. And have some fun with it. So, abstract, that's what I'm saying, abstract. So let's see how many layers we can throw on here and make it into something really neat and cool looking. So like I said, just using it as a canvas today, I could, you know, have a canvas board, but I'm using my index card, seeing how I can use it. And I'm gonna dry that up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this um stencil. I'm gonna use my ruler ink and see how that looks just for the fun of it. Going over it with my roller ink. Really want to ink it out. Try to get, go slow so I make sure I get the inks in there. And I actually might go the other way as well just because I want to make sure I really get it in there. See what I'm doing? I'm just kind of really mixing it up. So I did some really unique uh, marking in the back paint, just kind of playing. When you don't know what to do and you just kind of want to play, see what really pops. That's what I'm doing. Come on, end up something really neat. That kind of looks cool.
looks Asian, doesn't it? So, with that, I'm going to go with some black spots. A couple of really big ones. And a couple of red spots. And I'm using my misters for this. Kind of staying in some of the colors I have here. sure if I'm ready for white. I could do a spot and see. Well, doesn't really pick up that much, but I'm going to dry that up, guys. I have a couple of tissue paper pieces that I want to glue on here. Create dream. And I'm going to have this higher balloon. When I did the, we did a, a print a, a stamp image swap for international crafters and one of the great ways to share your images is on tissue paper like gift tissue paper and you stamp your images and you swap with friends and then you can use them in journals and iCADs and that kind of thing so that's what we're, we were doing and it's really been fun so we get all these beautiful embellishments to use so now we have our painted surface and we haven't done that in a long time. I don't think we've painted in a long time. So that's really cool. Something new every once in a while. So I'm going to grab my glue. Glue on my pieces. And it's just a few minutes it takes to create something really cute. I think I'll go right up against the tape. Try not to wait too long before I take that tape off here. With the gluing, I think that might make it uh, tear. I know it's very easy to tear because it is uh, just an index card. I'll throw some of these pieces in here like that for some texture. So I'm going to put create dream and I'm going to put actually should I put create dream a little lower see if I can move it just perfect like that because I want to put the higher balloon higher and this reminds me so much of like the Wizard of Oz because of the higher balloon And there we go. I want something else. What do I want? I don't know. There is some cute little dandelion type of things here. Or some kind of stamped image there. So it's such a summery feel. Although in spring and in fall, that's when hot air balloons in these parts, in these areas here, usually tend to get flowing. Is in those time of years. Those times of year. That time of year. Wow. Speak English. And I'm just going to tear this up and put it right up here. It's part texture or something. Well, there we go. I think that's good. I think I like that. There we go. That's it, guys. I hope you like it. Oh, I'm going to um, dry that off and we'll see what it looks like, how it comes off on the tape, with the tape. So as you can see, I'm tearing a little bit of it off, but this is just a fun little index card. And when you go over again with the glue, you won't even see this roughness. Isn't that cute? So a nice little painted background. I did the, the watercolor spray on there just for fun to see how it looked, but I thought, well, I'm gonna add more paint to it because I kind of wanted it more prominent. And a nice whimsical 
tissue paper stamped images collaged on there and it looks great. Now I'm just going to go over it one more time with glue everywhere or Mod Podge and seal that in with the mat and that is it guys. And now it's done. I hope you guys like this project and um, yeah I'll give it a try. I'll show it to you. There you go, friends. I hope you give it a try. Try something whimsical. Paint the background. Tape it down so it doesn't buckle too much on you. And then put some tissue paper stamped images on it. And it looks so cool, whimsical, and fun. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to crap like a duck. Bye, guys. There we go. It's pretty cute.